In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor with the Raspberry Pi. So as always, I just want to let everyone know that you can find the official write-up as well as all the components in the description below. So let's quickly discuss the components that you're going to need. In this case, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 and a DHT22 slash breakout board with the provided jumper cables. Just a quick note about the DHT22. Um, you can find the sensor in raw form online, but this tutorial we're going to use the breakout board, which comes provided with a 10K resistor. And that's important because if you were to wire the raw sensor to the Pi, you have the potential to burn up the pin and you know get a regular behavior. So let's proceed with the physical setup. The first thing you need to do is wire the female DuPont jumper cables to the DHT sensor breakout. In this case, I've wired the yellow cable to positive, the orange to out, and the red to negative. And then on the Raspberry Pi side, I've wired the um, yellow cable to 3.3 volts, the orange to GPI 04, and the red to ground. I'll throw up a schematic here so that you can see it more clearly. So that completes the physical setup. So now we're ready to boot up the Pi, open up a terminal, and set up the OS, and then proceed with configuring the Python script. Okay, so I SSH into my Raspberry Pi. Um, if you're using the GUI, you can just open up a terminal and follow along. It's the exact same process. So the first thing that we need to do is install the DHT library. So the command that you're going to run is sudo pip3 install adafruit circuitpython dht and hit enter. Okay, so let's clean up the screen a bit. So you want to open up a browser now and navigate to the DHT uh, git web page. I'll leave a link in the description and then you'll find that there's this examples subfolder. And if we open it, we have two uh, test files. So we're going to inspect the simple test. And basically, this is the code that we need to run uh, on the Raspberry Pi. So we're just going to copy everything here. OK, so on our Raspberry Pi, I'm just going to create a script file real quick. So type sudo nano dht test.py, copy the contents, control x, y, enter. So sudo nano dht. So I'm going to walk you through kind of how the code works and we do have to make a few changes here. So the first three lines, we're just importing, um, you know, the library. And then on line six, we are specifying the GPIO interface, but this is actually wrong. We're going to need to comment out this line because this is for uh, circuit Python. I believe we're going to have to uncomment line number 11 and change um, the D18 to four. Um, so basically that we're just specifying the GPO pin that we've set. And then on line 13 through 20, we're looping through and reading the raw values on the sensor and making the necessary conversions. Uh, there's some error checking that's going on on this block here, 25 through 30. And that's pretty much how it works. Every two seconds, it will pull the, se the sensor and uh, post the value. So let's uh, save this and see if it works. So we're going to type sudo python3 dht test.py. So as you can see, it's actually posting the values. And don't be alarmed if you see this. Um, checksum did not validate error. The sensor is actually very difficult to read. So if the checksum fails, uh, you won't get the value. So one easy way to get rid of that if you don't want to see it um, is to go back to the script. And then you can just comment out that line here. And now you should just only get the values. And yeah, so 
that concludes the tutorial for today to set up the DHT22 sensor with the Raspberry Pi. As always, it's always appreciated if you leave a like and subscribe. Uh, happy hacking. Peace.